Hello friends, uh, welcome to my channel. Let's have a look at problem 1061, lexicographically smallest equivalent string. Uh, in this video, we are going to share a solution based on this joint set data structure. So this problem asks to return the lexicographically smallest equivalent string of a base string by using the equivalency information from the two given strings S1 and S2. So here are some examples. Let's have a look at example 1. So in example 1, due to the equivalency from S1 and S2, so key RS forms a group. Any two characters within this group are equivalent. So the final return is like this, by replacing the equivalent group uh, characters with the smallest character. So another thing we want to point out before we do the, uh, do the analysis is that uh, all the strings consist of lower case English letters only. So this actually give us a hint on how to use Unified or more precisely the format of using Unified. So with that said, let's look at the method and uh, the analysis. The method is based on disjoint set abstract data structure or the unifand. So the idea is very straightforward. Uh, we use the find method to create cluster and we use the union method to merge clusters. So within each cluster, any pair of characters are equivalent. So here is a note. Uh, please note how we use union by rack here, which is specific to the problem setting here and different from uh, general implementations in the playlist of videos in the channel. So let's do a quick walkthrough and then do the real work. So let's say we have uh, the S1, S2 and the base string given at here. And then you can compare each index to determine the equivalency information from S1 and S2. So we can see that they form such clusters. For example, H and W are equivalent, they form a cluster uh, represented by H. Similarly, DEO form a cluster and represented by D. And LR forms a cluster represented by L. So notice that due to our implementation of the unit method, so each cluster representative is the lexical smallest character in that cluster. So if we have this cluster information, so we can easily get the return. For example, for this base string, so we're going to replace O by D, right, based on here, and we're going to replace R by L. So with that said, uh, let's make some suggestions and then do the work. So actually, we can try to solve this problem using graph traversal algorithms, like breadth-first search or depth-first search, by finding connected components. So also another suggestion may be um, you can check out other videos in the playlist of unifind method in the channel. So with that said, let's look at the solution. So in order to use uh, unifind, I'm going to initialize two, character, uh, two uh, dictionaries which uh, store the um, node root and node rec information. So for this purpose, I'm going to, because all the strings consist of only lowercase English letters, let me first uh, import all the lowercase English letters. So from string import ASCII lowercase. So this ASCII lowercase is nothing but uh, um, characters from A to Z as a string. Then we're going to initialize the root and rank. So here I'm going to character character for character in ASCII lowercase. So each character is uh, its own um, parents at the very beginning. So character, then I'm going to use their ordinality to uh, to be rack. So let's see, character for character in ASCII lowercase. So with that said, uh, we're going to implement two methods. One is uh, find. 
So I'm going to do this. This is the function signature. And also I'm going to implement another one, union, except two arguments, character one, character two. So um, for this union, I'm going to use the union by rack, uh, find by path compression. So for the union, I'm going to use union by rack. So for this, let me first uh, introduce a result variable, which is initially character. So we're going to check if the result and its root are the same. If so, we're going to return. Otherwise, we just chain up. So well, result does not equal to root uh, result. Then basically, we set the result to be its root and do the while loop. Uh, this is a typical way. Then finally, we return the result. Uh, here, we can do something to compress the path. So in other words, we set the root of the result to be the root of its root. So like root result equals root result. And then we apply this op this root again. So I can actually for fun write one more. That's still OK. So this is the find method we're going to use. So here, let me make some remark. We're going to use find with um, path compression. So there are different uh, formats of uh, implementing the path compression. So this is one of them. So now let's um, look at the union. So I'm going to use uh, union by rack. So this uh, union by rack is uh, specific to this problem. So first, I'm going to find the root for the two characters. So find character one, find uh, character two. So if root one equals root two, it means character one and character two are already in the same cluster. They are equivalent. Otherwise, uh, we're going to make a unit operation by based on the rack. So if root one does not equal to root 2. Then we're going to track their um, uh, rack information and uh, then do the parent or root reset. So if rack root 1 is less or equal than rack uh, root 2. So this if condition means that um, the root 1 has lower uh, ordinality. Then we're going to set uh, root of root 2 to be root 1. So this is um, a 1. In other case, we're going to set the reverse. We're going to set root the root of root 1 to be root 2. So that's it. Actually, due to this implementation of union, um, the 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 root of a character is automatically uh, lexically uh, smallest. So with that uh, uh, said, on the, all the two methods finished, uh, let's uh, do the real work. So for character one, character two, in zip s1, s2. So let's um, use the equivalency to form clusters. So we're going to do union, character one and character two. Uh, then that's all we want to do. So next, we are pre uh, preparing to do the return. Let's initialize a empty string. And then we're going to check to traverse the base string for character in base string. Um, then first, we are going to find the um, the root of the character. So let's see. Um, this is going to be a fan of the character. And then we just uh, append this to the result. Result plus equals this one. And then what we are going to return is nothing but the result string. So this is the full code for this um, solution using uh, Unifant. Let's do a special case check. Oh yeah, it passes the uh, special case. Now let's do a generic case check. 
Oh yeah, it passes the generic case. So uh, one thing we can do in order to gain more information is to uh, implement another method which we can track the clusters. Let's do it for extra credit. So let's do uh, get clusters. So then I'm going to initialize a dictionary and then we're going to traverse the root. So for key v in root items. Uh, then what we want to do is that we find the root of v and then if root in d we're going to add this key to the set otherwise we're going to make uh, this um, single element set as the value for the key root so then we're going to return d so d is a dictionary representing the clusters so after we do the union operations so actually we can print out the cluster information clusters so let's see uh, root before uh, let's see before assignment oh here so let's uh, use another one just to uh, distinguish let's use here put a uh, add score so this um, this is the uh, clusters so this is sort of uh, messy because we used all the lowercase English letters, but that gives our the relation like H is WH, right? So that's about it. So this is one solution format. So actually for this problem, there uh, we prepared another solution format. So it's here. So this solution format, the so second solution format, actually. Uh, use all the um, uh, all the uh, characters which appear in the S1, S2, and the base string. So without using all the uh, 26 characters. But the structure is like this. We first uh, implement a DFU um, class which contains a find method and a union method. Similarly, we use uh, the ordinality as the rack and then the get cluster method and then we use that uh, uh, class to do the um, solution so we instantiate and then we do the unit operations and then when we uh, build the result there are two possibilities one is the character is inside the dictionary we built or the character does not appear then we just keep it as it is in the base string. So that's the difference of the two methods or implementations. So uh, personally, the, I feel that the first method here is uh, succinct due to the setting of this problem. And the latter method or implementation is more generic. So it uses all the information we have without uh, using the letters that does not uh, that do not appear in the strings so i guess um, that's about it for this video thank you very much